He really forgot he was black. Nine times out of 10, it probably was you. And if they said it was you, throw the book at him. I still wouldn't have went up in those people buildings and did that shit. God bless America, fight for your country. But even in an insurrection, he's still a nigga. The irony. Rants with that, damn it. January 6, 2021 will go down in history as the day white people lost their shit. Now, anyone who knows me knows I like to stay out of white folks' business because it never ends up good for us. So I just, I'm like, yeah, I'll do y'all. I don't see nothing. I don't care. Leave me out of it. But this shit here, nigga. This, like most of you, I saw the videos of those angry maggots storming the Capitol, fueled off the angers of former President Donald Trump. Listen, some folks went up in those people building and they made a fucking mess. One dude took a picture with his feet on the desk of Nancy Pelosi, which is real disrespectful. Had his shit kickers up on the papers and everything. Some dude had on like some buffalo helmet. Like he was the mascot. I don't know who he is or what he was, but he is the mascot. And that shit was like, where did he find that outfit at? I've been to a couple musical festivals, never seen that one before. Another one of these idiots took a shit on somebody's desk too. How insane are you? Like, let alone you're already breaking into the Capitol building, but you had the bright idea to shit on somebody's desk. Like, <laughs> how do you hate somebody that bad? That's insane. And unfortunately, we all saw the video of the young lady who lost her life. Like she stood up on something. She was trying to climb through, I don't know, but we saw her get shot and she ain't get back up off the ground. I said, yeah, y'all should probably go home, man. But nope, 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 nope. They kept going. They was documenting every minute of this insurrection. When all the smoke cleared and order was restored, this beautiful government said they will be taking action and punishing those to the fullest extent of the law. The correct term for what occurred that day will be described as a coup. In this country, the punishment for treason is death. That's right, any attempt to overthrow the government is a form of treason and is punishable by death. Sounds fair, you try to take out what's in place, we gotta take you out, I don't know. But then again, the government be screwing everybody every day, but I still wouldn't have went up in those people buildings and did that shit, like y'all was wilding. Um, I'm sorry, that was just like wow. So when the trial began for the 850 defendants, the American people was eager to see how our government was gonna handle these fools. We was like, yeah, off with all their heads. It don't matter, everybody gotta go. Because according to the law, if you do this, you know, this is what happens. And unfortunately, you know, hate to make it a race thing, but when black people break the law, allegedly, they throw the whole book right at your face. You ain't never seen it coming. From the jump though, a lot of them white folks realized that they was about to be going to jail. They started copping please. They was at the police store like looking for discounts. Two for one, you know what I'm saying? Let me get half off. Remember earlier in the video, the young lady who got shot on video? Her parents tried to blame the cop for it. Like their daughter didn't just run up in this Capitol building tearing up these people's shit. If you come in my house and tear up my shit, I have a right to put a bullet in your ass. Depending on what state you live in. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta read the laws. Once again, they throw that book, never see it coming. An old boy with the buffalo helmet, that douchebag, his ass went to jail and he was complaining because he couldn't get any vegan options. For real, that really happened. I mean, look, the white privilege was like oozing out of them salty white tears. They were just like, help me please. The American people wasn't buying it. Well, shit, I know I wasn't buying it, fuck that. We all saw y'all, like if I saw it on video, nine times out of 10, it probably was you. And if they said it was you, Throw the book at him. To no surprise, like when the first verdicts came down, poor little white people put their puppy eyes on and got them a little slap on the wrist. Once again, we've been bamboozled. They pulled the fast one over on us. We thought we was gonna see some justice. But we ain't seen no justice yet. But wait, 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 it gets better. Let's put it this way. So far, the median sentence that was handed down for federal prison time was 45 days. That's right, a month and a half was like what was going around for those who were actually caught that didn't do anything, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how you get 45 days after they saw you on video. Maybe they got your DNA, something, somehow, some way. Who knows? We already know if you got the complexion for the protection, you won't be stressing. But let me introduce you all to Mr. Mark Ponder, 56 year old black Trump supporter mm -hmm. who was rioting at the Capitol on January 6th. They got him on video too. He got 63 months in federal prison for his role in the rioting. 
63 months, which is five years and some change in prison for his role. Now, this is one of the heftier sentences that came down. And I know what you're saying, you're probably at home like, yo, but you were just saying if they were there doing this foul shit that they supposed to get to the fullest extent of the law. Yes, you're right. The law did say that, you know, it was punishable by death, but all right, you know, nobody wants nobody to die. Allegedly, Mr. Mark Ponder, he was seen repeatedly striking Sergeant Gonell with the red, white, and blue pole. The irony. Mark must have forgot that he was a black man in America that day. Cause ain't no way in hell he thought he was gonna get over with that shit. On the Capitol grounds rioting for over three hours, he also assaulted two more officers. The math is starting to math here. Mark was so arrogant and drunk off that MAGA wine. He told the arresting officers the way that this country is going, y'all gonna have to pick a side at some point. He really forgot he was black. Holy shit, my man talking like a fucking Karen 3X and shit. What the fuck? Mark was held without bail since March 2021, which gave him a lot of time to sit, think, and soak up all of that. I'm fucking 50 something years old. You know, ain't no telling what like health conditions you got. And here you are facing real time. So that's probably why Mark pled guilty in April and started asking the judge for mercy. Claiming he wasn't in his right mind that day. Yeah, you definitely wasn't. You was intoxicated off that MAGA wine. You thought you was a white man for real. Really though. Now here's the kicker. The US Justice Department recommended that Mark get 60 months in prison. Excuse me, 60 months in federal prison. But the judge overseeing the case said that Mark was not defending himself or defending anybody. He just showed up and chose violence. I mean, okay, judge kind of right. The judge was so disgusted that the judge wanted to give Mark 71 months in prison. <laughs> <laughs> judge then they wanted to give him a whole nother year on top of what the u.s justice department said even in an insurrection you're still a nigga instead the judge gave him 63 months in federal prison when news broke that the only black man in this whole trial got 63 months, they went crazy on social media. They was like, ah, oh, you know, it's cause he a black man and he was white, he would happen this way and whatever, motherfucker. He got caught doing some bullshit and check this out. He ain't the only person. There's a white dude actually, Robert Scott Palmer. He actually got 63 months in prison as well for his role in this insurrection, okay? He got the same amount of time because he was found on camera visibly assaulting an officer with a fire extinguisher. See, that part got swept up under the rug, right? The white man did get 63 months, but that wasn't enough for us. Off with his head. I thought, I thought that's what the punishment was for treason. Rinse with it, damn it.